unbelievable developments are unfolding at Starbase. Installations for Starship Pad 2 continue, and a mysterious new piece of hardware has just arrived, sparking curiosity about its purpose and role in SpaceX's plans. Meanwhile, all eyes turn to Blue Origin as New Glenn prepares for liftoff within hours, a defining moment that could shape the company's future in the space race. How crucial is this launch, and can Blue Origin rise to the challenge? Let's find out on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We're all eagerly awaiting the debut of the first V3 Starship flight, a milestone that, unfortunately, has now been postponed until next year. While this delay is disappointing, it also gives SpaceX more time to refine and perfect its systems, especially those centered around the newly upgraded Launch Pad 2 at Starbase. The construction of Pad 2 has been underway for quite some time, and recent months have seen an increasing number of upgrades and tests. Yet the work is far from over. SpaceX engineers continue to add new components and refine existing ones, and recently something unexpected caught everyone's attention. A strange piece of hardware that appeared at the site transported from the Sanchez facility to Pad 2. This piece of equipment immediately sparked widespread speculation. In terms of design, it resembles a sturdy metal frame with a horizontal base structure beneath it. On the top of this base, close-up photos reveal an inscription that appears to read SpaceX Development Test, followed by partially obscured letters. Above this section sits another rectangular frame supported by smaller diagonal steel beams. At each corner of the frame are four white cylindrical boxes, each already wired, suggesting the hardware's integration with an electrical or control system. Since this equipment is completely new, its purpose is still unknown. Many online observers and analysts have offered theories. One early hypothesis suggested that it might function as a circuit breaker or safety cutoff system designed to stop operations in the event of a malfunction. However, after closer examination, that explanation seems unlikely given the scale and design of the unit. Another possibility which has gained more traction among the community is that this hardware serves as a clamping system tester for the OLM at Pad 2. This theory makes sense because the OLM at Pad 2 differs significantly from the original design at Pad 1. The new OLM has a more enclosed configuration, offering greater safety and durability but also making internal inspections more challenging. As a result, SpaceX might require specialized testing tools to ensure the reliability of this new structure before acting use. A third and particularly interesting theory comes from the highly respected Chrome Kiwi 3D design team, known for their detailed and accurate SpaceX system models. They suggest that the hardware could be a breakover fixture used for booster alignment. In their 3D model render, the fixture sits on top of the OLM, equipped with alignment pin sockets that would help guide the booster into its correct position before being clamped down. This would ensure that the booster aligns perfectly with the OLM's hold down arms and other key components during stacking operations. Unlike Pad 1, which has its own built-in alignment pins rarely seen in use, this new fixture could represent a refined and more efficient system for aligning and securing boosters. Such precision would be essential as SpaceX transitions to the more advanced and powerful V3 Starship design. The timeline for seeing this new system in action may not be far off, since it is now November and SpaceX has officially confirmed that Flight 12 will take place next year. Critical testing must occur soon. SpaceX Vice President of Launch Kiko Donchev recently revealed that the first V3 booster, B-18, will begin cryogenic testing at the Massey test sites within days. After that, the booster will be fitted with engines before being rolled to Pad 2 for a full static fire test. If the schedule holds, we could see B-18 arrive at Pad 2 in early December. When that happens, both the new pad and this mysterious hardware will finally have a chance to demonstrate their capabilities in real operational conditions. However, there is also a possibility that SpaceX could conduct a powered test before B-18's debut, possibly during B-17, to validate Pad 2's systems. This would not only confirm the readiness of the new infrastructure, but also provide engineers with valuable data ahead of V-3's first official flight. Whether or not SpaceX decides to take this route remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, Pad 2 is rapidly becoming one of the most advanced launch facilities ever built. As the groundwork for V3 continues, excitement is building. Every new installation, every mysterious component, and every test brings us closer to seeing the future of Starship come to life. So what do you think of this new piece of hardware? What do you think it is? And are you ready to see the debut of Pad 2 with all its groundbreaking upgrades? If you are, type in do it now in the comments section down below. And be sure to join us as we continue following the next chapter in SpaceX's journey to the stars. While SpaceX continues its 
steady march toward the first Starship V3 flight, the spotlight is now shifting to Blue Origin, which is preparing for a major moment of its own. After years of anticipation, New Glenn's second mission is scheduled to launch on November 9th, marking another crucial step for Jeff Bezos' aerospace company as it seeks to solidify its role in the modern space race. In the final days of October, Blue Origin began a series of key pre-launch milestones. On October 30th, the company successfully conducted a static fire test, a vital step in validating the rocket's seven BE-4 engines and verifying overall launch readiness. Shortly after, teams began disassembling the booster and inspecting components to ensure optimal performance. By October 31st, Blue Origin confirmed that NASA's Twin Escapade spacecraft, short for Escape in Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers, had been fully encapsulated inside New Glenn's fairing. Then, on November 6th, the Jacqueline drone ship named after Jeff Bezos' mother departed port to take its position in the Atlantic Ocean, ready to support the planned booster landing attempt. With these preparations, Blue Origin is clearly demonstrating its determination to make this flight a success. The mission carries two critical goals goals, deploying its payload safety into orbit and successfully landing the first stage booster on the drone ship. The first goal, payload deployment, may sound straightforward, but this time the stakes are far higher than before. During New Glenn's maiden flight, the rocket carried a blue ring simulation payload, essentially a test article. This second mission, however, involves a genuine NASA payload of scientific importance. The escapade mission will send two small spacecraft to study Mars's magnetosphere, investigating how the solar wind may have stripped away the planet's atmosphere atmosphere over time. These findings could play a vital role in shaping humanity's long-term plans for colonization and terraforming on the Red Planet. Because Escapade is a NASA mission, Blue Origin's performance on this launch will be closely scrutinized. A successful delivery will not only strengthen Blue Origin's credibility, but could also open the door to more government and scientific contracts in the future. NASA, the Space Force, and other agencies are all searching for reliable alternatives to SpaceX, and New Glenn could become a central piece of that strategy if it proves itself capable. In fact, this flight could also contribute to Blue Origin's efforts to obtain certification from the Pentagon. Although New Glenn has already been selected for the NSSL program, full certification is still pending. Without it, the rocket cannot perform official national security launches. Any delay or failure in this mission could jeopardize that certification process and push Blue Origin behind competitors such as SpaceX and ULA, both of whom have already met the required benchmarks. The second major goal, landing the booster on the Jacqueline drone ship, is arguably the more ambitious challenge. Blue Origin failed to achieve this during New Glenn's debut, so all eyes are now on whether they can pull it off this time. A successful landing would mark the company's first step toward reusability, a concept that has defined the modern era of rocketry. If Blue Origin succeeds, it'll place the company in direct competition with SpaceX, matching their core advantage, which is the ability to reuse boosters rapidly, and if they manage to do it on their second orbital flight, it'd be an impressive achievement, especially considering that SpaceX only achieved its first Falcon 9 booster landing on its 20th flight in 2015, which was over five years after its debut. Of course, context matters. SpaceX was the pioneer of this technology and had no roadmap to follow, while Blue Origin benefits from years of industry progress and observation. Even so, catching up to SpaceX's unparalleled record of reusability remains a steep mountain to climb. Falcon 9 has now landed more than 200 times and reflown boosters over a dozen times each. It'll take Blue Origin many successful recoveries to reach that level. Still, the symbolic importance of a successful landing cannot be overstated. It would prove that New Glenn is not only capable of reaching orbit, but also of returning safely, a sign of a mature, sustainable launch system. For Blue Origin, this flight is a statement to the world that they are no longer merely a contender, but a credible force in the commercial space industry. Interestingly, Blue Origin's leadership has already offered insights into their mindset for this mission. CEO Dave Limp posted on X, NG-1's goal was clear, reach orbit. Everything after that was a bonus. NG-2 builds on that with our primary goal to get Escapade safely to orbit and land the booster. What if we don't stick the landing? That's okay. We've got several more new Glenn boosters already in production. In this mission, we will be delivering NASA's Escapade to orbit and supporting Viasat's technology demonstration. Onwards to launch. His words suggested a measure of leveled optimism, a focus on success, but also an understanding that the path toward full reliability takes time. Blue Origin may not be expecting perfection on this attempt, 
but it's clear they are determined to keep pushing forward. Beyond the immediate technical goals, this mission carries deeper implications for Blue Origin's reputation. It's been 25 years since the company's founding, yet only in the past year has it finally reached orbit. Many hoped that after New Glenn's first flight, momentum would accelerate. Instead, nearly 11 months have passed between launches, raising questions about whether Blue Origin can sustain a steady cadence. This upcoming flight must, therefore, restore confidence among investors, government agencies, and the broader space community. If it succeeds, it'll demonstrate that New Glenn is ready for more ambitious missions, such as the Kuiper Satellite constellation for Amazon, the National Security Space Launch contracts, and even lunar missions tied to NASA's Artemis program. But if the mission ends in failure, doubts will deepen, potentially delaying the company's progress for years. Competition is fierce. SpaceX continues to dominate orbital access with unmatched speed and reliability, while Yule has re-emerged with Vulcan Centaur. Meanwhile, Rocket Lab and Stoke Space are rapidly advancing their reusable rocket technologies, each eager to claim a share of the growing launch market. If Blue Origin cannot keep pace, it risks being left behind in a race it once seemed destined to lead. In the end, the second flight of New Glenn represents far more than a technical test. It's a turning point. Success could mark the true beginning of Blue Origin's orbital legacy, a step toward becoming the reliable launch provider it has long promised to be. Failure, however, would reinforce skepticism that has shadowed the company for years. The question now is simple. Will Blue Origin rise to the occasion, or will New Glenn's potential remain unrealized a little longer? One thing is certain, on November 9th, the entire world will be watching. In any case, folks, thank you so much for watching Great SpaceX. This has been Kevin, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.